This video is going to cover the maps in uh, Power SDR KE9 in this version 2.8.0.245. And uh, now the maps, there's a maps button up here. Uh, if you hold your mouse over it, if you hit F1, a screen will open up. Before I had all the tooltip right there and it blocked the whole screen, so I, I moved it down here. So this explains the different maps, a left click, and uh, what you're going to get a left a wheel and a right click, and then what you're going to get spotter map, F layer, D layer, lightning map, cloud cover map. But you can also get access in the spotter here. This basically allows you to toggle through the maps here. So I'm going to turn on the VOA cat propagation and I'm going to disable the shortwave listing. Okay, so uh, let me disable the memories, make it a little clear. Okay, so on the maps button, if you were to left click, normal left click, it's going to activate the, in this case I got options for the sun turned on on ISS, the moon, and it's based on your latitude and longitude. There's the little star showing where you are. So it, that's telling you the elevation of the moon is 41 degrees with a bearing of 90. Uh, ISS is below the horizon and, uh, and then the sunspot information, which it's also telling you the information over here. And if you hold your mouse over here, it's going to tell you, especially if there's anything listed under space weather, you got radio blackouts, geomagnetic storm, solar radiation. So anyway, you're seeing the spotter screen. In this case, I've got the VOA cap propagation program showing, which is automatically adjusted by the band. So this is going to change if I change bands. See, so that's going to change. Uh, if I left click again, that turns off. If I right click, you get in this case the first one up is F layer and there's a scale showing the near vertical incidence uh, the way they generate the map is they have transmitters that'll point straight up into the atmosphere and then see the highest frequency that will reflect off the F layer <coughs> uh, and they update the map I think every every 15 minutes uh, I, I will update automatically every uh, half hour uh, unless you hit control Z and then it'll update uh, get you know get a new image download and uh, typically you might see uh, skip if you can get uh, on the upper bands if you can get uh, into the blue range you'll start to see um, the other bands uh, maybe even 10 meters open if you can get into this little higher range here because you don't you're not looking for vertical reflection obviously you want something at a low angle so you can skip off the upper atmosphere so you don't you don't need to see this exact number uh, this the higher the, the up the scale obviously the um, higher up the band you can go click it again and now you're a D layer and this is an absorption map so it's showing you uh, usually when the x-rays uh, sun's emitting x-rays I guess that will um, on the sun side especially it will start absorbing the D layer <clears throat> will form and act as an absorption layer and uh, this is what you're seeing here right now and it can affect uh, it's affecting up to 5 megahertz according to this sometimes you'll see it pretty bright but uh, it, it starts to taper off, but you'll probably notice an effect even on the dark side, away from the sun. Lightning map. Um, and then the in this scale here, the white would be basically current lightning, and down to the red, which would be lightning that's two hours old. And then if you, if you power stairs in focus, you hit control Z, not only will it update the map, but it'll open up a zoom window to give you a little bit better idea when you're zooming around so you can see things a little better and I mean you could turn off the, the waterfall and make a full map out of it and then one more will bring you the cloud cloud map and this is a mosaic 
that I stitched together so unfortunately the website where I get the free imagery uh, doesn't have any IR cloud data for here and the same thing you can control Z that'll not only update the map but allow you to zoom in and see a little bit better of the cloud formation so that's a cloud map and then uh, it just goes around the horn and left click will bring you back that's the shift key shift key will automatically give you the latitude longitude on the map and then uh, one more left click will turn that off one more feature of the uh, maps button is the mouse wheel or middle button uh, nobody has a middle button anymore it's the mouse wheel you just click on the mouse wheel and it will open up this map and usually it's zoomed all the way out and it'll look uh, something like this when you start but basically you zoom in and now you can pull it open and then you have the scroll bars here and it just gives you your designators for the ham calls so uh, there's one little other map in there and that's it for the maps